our final, final presentation, which is from Stripy Red T-shirt Pete. Surname Pete. Duncan. Pete Duncan, this is strange, it's a bit like uh, doing karaoke, but uh, being invited up to do a song with your best mate for which one you wanted you to do. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the words! Oh, come on, have a go. Are you ready? Really, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> come on, let's go. go. Oh. Ah, global warming, how we all know it. I'm here to talk to you about global warming, and unfortunately, the polar bear is going to disappear from our wonderful shores. But I'm told it's all right to very good swimming. Um, I personally uh, love eating polar bear on pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> if you've not tried it, it's an absolute delicacy, uh, especially with Inuits, uh, who have many words for snow, uh, but also like, use pound food with their face. I don't know if you do that. Uh, how they get it out there, I don't know. That leads on to Neil Kinnock, uh, who <laughs> mines <laughs> uh, or at least looks after mining campers. He shouts about uh, panthers from the rooftop and polar bears, uh, which he paid uh, great money for the uh, REF to try and draw a polar bear in the sky in order to highlight their flight. <laughs> uh, this isn't actually smoke, this is panthers. They're throwing them out the back. It's an aerial display. It took a long time to practice. Uh, what the fuck that's got to do with that jumper, I don't know, but uh, the pilots were very cold. Uh, <laughs> obviously, the, the back of the Hercules was down, and you need, you need warmth at this sort of occasion. They're kind of stuffed everywhere, and we're throwing them out. But the nice jumper certainly does help. It's made from cat hair, and uh, <laughs> it wasn't fine for any particular cats. It was used from cat hair regurgitated. Uh, no. Recycled, obviously. Uh, we'll have we'll have all that rubbish where uh, we, no cats were shaved for the making of this display. <laughs> there is a sad tale though, unfortunately one of the pilots did fall from the plane. Uh, he slipped on his mother's skin. Sad, sad tale. It's okay because I believe he was rescued by either the steam engine. It <laughs> <laughs> happened to be uh, going across. He was uh, being transported from east to west uh, on a ferry. There he was, landed. Luckily they pooted and uh, he just landed on a little pile of steam and saved himself. He's not a right state. If you've fallen 20,000 feet, campers everywhere, uh, you know, at least he survived. And I, I, think, I think we can all be happy for that. He did lose his jumper, though. Uh, <laughs> very sad. Very sad day indeed. <laughs> uh, all he remembers from the occasion is uh, just before launch when the, the ramp went down, is uh, 3 2 1 was mentioned. And, uh, that's all he can say. <laughs> Tell your friends, tweet about it, if you want to present, if you want to join the fun, let us know, uh, give us your details, we'll put you on the mailing list and all that kind of